Ouais, Miss. We have the national anthem. All right, we're going to uh, join Jerry Owens with tonight's lineup, and then we'll be back to talk about tonight's game. to hear we'll repeat those in a minute So that's the starting lineup. Uh, hopefully you heard those. It was a little bit difficult to hear, but uh, we'll try to bring those to you as we get going. Start of a new era tonight. We have a new coach for Centralia, uh, Joe Cheerhart, who uh, comes to us from, basically he worked at Tonino for a while, the athletic director there. Yeah, that's right. Now the athletic director here. So we're gonna have our tip off. We'll get going. Why don't we introduce ourselves? Uh, my name is Teague Halligan. I'm a freshman here at Centralia College and I play baseball. That's the one fun fact about me. And, and uh, I do love announcing, and I'm just getting into it now. So, my name is Cooper Bromley. I'm also a freshman here at Centralia College, and I'm just a lifelong basketball fan. All right, so we'll hear more from Cooper a little bit later here. We're ready for the tip-off, and it's uh, two 20-minute halves. I think the women, we usually do double headers, but for some reason tonight, the women are not playing here, but they will be starting next week. We'll have those double headers for you. Tip-off, Centralia will control it. And that is Cruz with the ball. He'll hand it off to Williams, who will bring it up. Gives it out to the left side, top of the key. Cruz gets the ball back inside and off the glass. That was a great time by Nishan, you know, one of the best players. And he just saw it really well there. Yeah, 6'7", a little bit of height on him out of Alaska. So Grace Harbor with the ball, bringing it around the, the top of the key right now. And they're top of key, trying to give some instructions out there. That is 21 with the ball. Gives it out to 32. Shot clock down to six. They drive in. Rebound by Centralia. And Centralia will bring it down. Cruz cross court. He gets it back at the top of the key. And we'll see what kind of offense Centralia is going to run here. Cruz bringing it out. 
flips it over, 23. And long shot by number three, that was Nate Campbell, just off the side of the basket. That's rebounded by number five. Whoops, got the wrong thing there. Number three, Williams. And uh, number five of Grays Harbor gets that DeWalt. Swinging around the key, three-point shot by number 21, Jacob Laff. That's off the mark. Rebound by Centralia. And Williams will bring it up. Kind of a defense are they running tonight? Is it man to man or is it his own? Oop. Ball is stolen by Grace Harbor. That is number zero, Garrett. And uh, it looked like that should have been a foul there, but. Uh, that was just good hustle by Orion. You know, he did, did what he could off of that steal by Micah. And uh, I just really enjoyed the hustle there by 23. It was a really good defense, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Nashawn can get anything started for him here. It's going to swing around the top of the court. Long three by Cruz, just off the side of the basket, and that will go out of bounds off of number 34. That was Foster, Forrester rather, that just missed the, the rebound there. Full court press by Centralia. Bring it up quickly. And uh, ball was blocked. So we have DeWalt trying to bring it in, but Centralia with really good defense there. 19 on the shot clock, keeping it on the outside. Looks like they're trying to penetrate, drive in, and there's going to be a block. So that was number two, Adzmasil Jr., who took it strong to the hoop, but it was blocked, but it looked like maybe a uh, Centralia player got a little bit of skin instead of just all ball there. Right? Yeah, that looked like Kevin Williams. You know, he looks like a grinder. He's out there. He's getting dirty. And, uh, you know, just a little too much contact on that one. Yeah, it was – the offensive player was going pretty strong to the ball. It was going to be a tough one to block. So first free throw bounces off the, the hoop and goes up to the top of the backboard. So that one is no good. He has another shot coming. Second free throw is good. That brings the score to Blazers two, Grace Harbor three. So they'll bring it up, Blazers will bring it up. And uh, like I mentioned, we have a new coach Cruz drives in, puts it up, and hits nothing but air. So Grace Harbor, quick. Wow, a lot of athleticism there for Grace Harbor as they get the rebound and bring it up quickly and just lay it up off the glass. So five to two. We'll talk about the records here in a minute. Three-point shot off the mark. That was Brian Williams. Rebound by Grace Harbor. Grace Harbor with a three-point shot two. That was DeWalt, he misses the ball. We have the rebound by Centralia. they'll bring it up quickly. Oh, a little bit of stutter there. Loses the ball in Grace Harbor, another fast break, but they're unable to control that, so that's gonna go out of bounds and go over to Centralia. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. You know, it's wide open lane for Keon there and uh, just got a little ahead of himself. And you know, kind of like when a receiver catches a pass and he sees open green grass, he just drops it right there. So that's a big break for uh, Centralia there. 16-24 left uh, in this first half. Grace Harbor up 5-2. Centralia controls the ball top of the key. Tries to get it down low inside. Get it back to the top of the key. And number 23 ends up with the ball. Out to the wing. Three-point shot up and uh, just misses. About five seconds left on that shot clock. So Grace Harbor will get the, get the ball back. Almost an over and back there by number 32 of Grace Harbor. Three-point shot from the top of the key, and that misses its mark. Absent Jr. put back up, and that was Garrett, it looks like. No, actually, check that. Was that Garrett that had that one? That was Keon. Keon, okay, DeWalt got that shot. Seven to two, Grace Harbor with the lead. Cruz gets it to the top of the key from the free throw line. That was Debida. Yeah, that was a nice job by Orion, uh, just finding open space at the top of the key near the free throw line where his specialty is, you know, as a big guy. Didn't try to do too much, didn't try to be a big guy and uh, step up at the three-point line, so it was a good job by him. So Grace Harbor in control of the ball, just putting it around court, trying to get something, somebody open. If they'll settle for the three, nine on the shot clock. Out to the right side, about a 10-foot shot from the right. And let's see who was that, that was 21. 
Jacob Laff out of Beaverton, Oregon. So it's nine to four, just under 15 minutes left in this first half. Centroia with the ball now. And a steal by Grays Harbor, that's Garrett who bring it up and they're gonna call a travel on him. Yep. So it was a nice steal by him and he could have had the ball. Yep, but uh, Micah did uh, end up traveling at the end there. So maybe he just got a little antsy, wasn't paying attention maybe. Looks like there's a timeout here. Yeah. So let's see what we've seen so far uh, during this, the first few minutes here. So it seems like Grace Harbor is doing a really good job of dominating uh, in the two point range, kind of more uh, towards the baseline is what I've seen so far. They haven't been that successful with the three-point shot yet, and neither have the Blazers. Uh, see, when they weren't shooting, uh, it, I, there was a run there where maybe three or four threes were shot in the row for Grace Harbor, and none of them really fell. But th once they started actually driving towards the paint, it actually started working out for them. And the Trail Blazers, uh, I think they just need to have a little bit more offensive presence or awareness, excuse me, because uh, there's been a few steals and a few uh, hiccups trying to drive into the lanes, but I think we'll, you know, it's early. It doesn't really, uh, it's not too big of a deal right now. But yeah, they need to settle down maybe a little bit. Uh, so, uh, okay, so both teams coming in, this is a first uh, league game, so they're 0-0, zero, zero, but for the league, uh, for the season rather, Grace Harbor comes in at 2-12, and 12 and Centralia at 4-10. and 10. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, what I've noticed about Centralia is sometimes they've been impatient with their shots. Right. And I, I think they just need to, to work the ball around a little bit more and wait for a better shot. So Centralia has the ball, they'll bring it up court. 1432 left. Swing it to the top of the key. And trying to get somebody inside, but the ball will be still not a great pass there. And let's see if, nope. Just missed it. That was DeWalt with a nice try at the layup for Grace Harbor, but it just took a weird bounce. Yep. And Centralia will get that rebound. Cruz with the ball now, trying to drive in. And he gets that stolen from him. So Grace Harbor trying to fast break. They're going to slow it down, though. Give it to the trailing man with the three point shot from way outside. That is DeWalt. Now, did you say you know him? Uh, no, I don't, but uh, Keon definitely made me eat my words there when that three-pointer just fell when I said they went for it. <laughs> they missed four, four straight, four. so. Yeah, 12-4 right now, Centralia. Some, uh, some of their passes haven't been that accurate, or they've been a little bit lazy, maybe. So, three-point shot. That misses its mark. That's McLareth. He misses it, and we'll get the, we'll get the basket and a foul. Mikel Garrett, who stands at six foot four out of Seattle. So he'll go to the line for a shot. Meanwhile, Grace Harbor has a 10 point lead, 14 to four. So we got some substitutions in there. We'll have to uh, sort that out yeah, as we go. In, uh, Sam Lawrence and uh, Nate Campbell. Uh, Nate Campbell's at the wing and Sam Lawrence, uh, he's at the forward position right now. So Garrett with his free throw here. Gonna make it a three point play. He misses that. Rebound by number 23 of Centralia. Three point shot. Now I was mentioning that, it seems like that basket is harder to hit over there, make those shots. Fast break by Grace Harbor, who's doing a good job. Good. What are they calling there? Calling timeout? Can't see. So it was another fast break. Grace Harbor, uh, they've got a number of those so far. Uh, yeah, uh, they're up 12 right now. And it's not looking too great for the Trailblazers right now. I think all they need to do is just recoup, you know, recenter themselves. You know, this is their first, uh, I think, one of their first league games. Yeah, I'm you know, I one of the things I'm seeing is that when they're taking, Centralia's taking a three-point shot, they're not really set, which is allowing Grace Harbor to get these fast breaks. Mm -hmm. So they gotta be a little more selective when they're taking those three-point shots and making sure that they're, uh, teammates can get back on defense. Otherwise, we're gonna see a lot more of those fast breaks. 100%. So it is Centralia's ball. They've got a fresh 30 seconds. Full court press by Grace Harbor right now. They, get, they break that. Number five with the ball, gets it out to the top of the key. Williams, Kevin Williams. Six point guard out of Maple Valley, hangs on to it. Gets it inside to 21, he's at the top of the key. He'll give it back to Williams. He's gonna drive, try to put it up, but gets it blocked, rebound 
is that number 21 is Landon Cout, who's six foot four. He grabs a rebound, puts it back up, gives Centralia a basket. First one in about uh, three or four minutes there. Mm -hmm. So Williams almost got, well, he did get the steal. Give it out to Cout. Out to number 24, who's going to take about a 15 foot shot, misses it. Rebound by Centralia, then blocked. Could have been a foul there. Nice try to bounce it off the uh, Grace Harbor player, but Grace Harbor maintains control. They'll swing it around the, the key there. Oh, boy. one of their players gets knocked down. It's number two banking it off and missing it, Joss Adamsell. Rebound by Centralia. So and that is Williams, I guess, with the ball again, right? Kevin Williams takes it to the top of the key, slows things down as he can try to run a play here. Cross court. Coach White gets it stolen. And Grace Harbor loses control. They All right, we're going to have a substitution. But Grace Harbor, again, getting a lot of uh, steals and fast breaks. If I'm Centralia's coach, I might tell them to kind of just slow it down a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's probably what they told him in the timeout, but it seems like both teams are struggling with turnovers at the moment. Uh, now that might just be just lack of confidence maybe, or uh, I don't know, maybe it's just they're getting a little antsy. Coach White with the three-point shot that misses, and Grace Harbor will get the rebound. Garrett will bring it up, giving instructions to his teammates. Top of the key now. Out to the right side. And... Uh, Threw up a prayer. That, who is that down there? It's number. It looked like Micah Garrett. Yeah. Just kind of threw it up there, hoping maybe for a foul. Centre with the ball behind the back. Pass. What a great dime by Kevin Williams. Yeah. Gives it to Landon Cowart, who bounces it off the the uh, backboard and gets that in. So 16-8. 10:53 left in this first half. Grace Harbor with the ball. We have Amsel, he gets it out to Garrett. Back to Garrett with a three-point shot, and that hits its mark. Nice shot by him, had an open look. Got his feet set and was able to get that down. That was a really nice shot by Josh. Oh, so that is Williams trying to get it to one of his teammates. And let's see what happened there. Went out of bounds. Should be Grays Harbor's ball. But they're going to give it to, uh, so Centrea, maybe one of the Grace Harbor players touched it. Looked like he was trying to get to his player who was cr cutting cross court, but uh, missed on that pass. Luckily, it was hit, hit by a Grace Harbor player. Here comes into the lane. Coach with a nice little move there to get it up and off the glass. So down by nine points, 19 to 10. Long half court pass there. And... Uh, Wow, Grace Harbor, <laughs> a lot of great action going on, a lot of athleticism out there, I would have to say. Yep. Got a couple of great blocks. So there is eight on the shot clock. Grace Harbor with the ball. And that is Garza who tries to, tries to pass it, arguing with the ref right now. We have timeout. So that last play, uh, Grace Harbor had it. Tried to uh, pass it. It looked like it went out of bounds. Yeah, then, uh, it, was, it was tipped out of bounds. It looked close, but it uh, ended up being out on Grace Harbor. Yeah, so. Grace Harbor player trying to argue that. It could have gone in both ways. We don't have the replay, so we're yeah. not really sure on yeah. that one. So, but, uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, both teams need to settle down maybe a little bit. Possibly, yeah. Because uh, I'm seeing a lot of quick decisions that are just not going where they probably should go. If they just take their time a little bit, I think... Maybe feel a little rushed. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, you know, but I think right now is just if Centralia can just keep chipping away at uh, the lead that Grace Harbor has here and just kind of keep them at bay for the rest of the quarter, I think they have a really good chance of having a strong second half of this game and, you know, actually making a statement for themselves because we got a lot of great athletes in Centralia and so does Grace Harbor, but I feel like we can for, sh for sure outperform this team. Yeah, I think Grace Harbor uh, showing a lot of a lot of quickness out there, and they're just anticipating some of the passes. And then on the three-point shots, I think they have a runner coming down, anticipating their player getting the rebound and getting a fast break. So Centralia is doing a good job. They just have to slow slow it down just a little bit. That's all I would do is slow it down and make sure you get some good passes off. Yeah. They seem a little rushed sometimes. 
So Centralia has the ball, 9.55 left in this first half, 19 to 10. So both teams coming in, not having a great season record, but I know we have a new coach and they're probably getting used to his system a little bit there. Mm -hmm. So Centralia, Kaut with the ball, he'll give it cross court. That's over to White who misses a three point shot. Rebound by Grace Harbor. They're gonna bring it up, try, try to bring it up quickly. Over to the right, left, right side for a three point shot. Nothing but net on that one. 22-10 now, and that is uh, 21 left. So Williams with ball drives, puts up about a 10 footer. It hits the backboard, rebounded by Garza. Grace Harbor, he gives it back out to number, can't see his number right now, number two there. That is Admanson, Admasil, gives it over to number three, Campbell. Back over to Admasil, he tries a three, just off the rim. And let's see. We have a couple of substitutes here. And was there a foul called on that? I uh, there might have been, yes. Uh, looks like Aaron B. Richards has checked into the game, being guarded by Keon. So Centralia, Centralia with the ball now. And looks like uh, South Coast Sound playing a man defense, man on man defense. We're gonna bring it up quickly again and fake the three point shot. 21 with the ball, loses it. Picked up by Landon Kaut. He'll bring it up, take a step, and puts it up off the glass. He should get a foul on that one. Could be a three point play for him. Yeah, yeah so that was a great hustle play by Jacob there, the sophomore Jacob forward. Laff, yeah. That was Jacob Laugh. And uh, yeah, he did, did a good job. Got fouled right at the end of it. Okay, that's Kaut, you're right. <laughs> we have a... Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm reading off a two list. Yeah, that's, we my, have, uh, that's my apologies. The strange, uh, the strange uh, lineups here that we have, to flip, we have to flip back and forth, but we'll get that right. So Landon Kaut, I should know him, he's one of my advisees, so. Try to get his three point shot here, three point play here for him. 22-10 if you're just joining us. First uh, game of league tonight, the Grays Harbor Chokers. Misses that, rebounded by Grays Harbor. And we got a full court press by Centralia. We're gonna break that as they get it to Garza. He gives it over to Admisil. Admisil over to Garrett. Out to the top of key. Garza finds, oh, it's stolen. So nice play, defensive play by Centralia. Centralia gets back out. Oh, not a great pass. And that's going to go out of bounds. And let's see, they're going to give it to Centralia. So again, another errant pass there. And they just got to uh, be a little more patient, I think. Yeah, but that was good awareness by Nishan. He saw that uh, Nate Campbell was driving pretty hard towards the ball. And uh, he saw him tip it, so he just let it go. You get that ball back, reset your, reset your guys, get a play going. Yep. Another substitute in here for both teams, it looks like. Centralia will get the ball, 21 on the shot clock. 22-10, we've got about seven minutes and 52 seconds left. Over to the left side, a three-point shot is missed by uh, Spencer Gill. And let's see, we have Garrett, Grace Harbor, just walking it up court, looking for someone inside to the arc, the left arc. And uh, let's see who that is. So number one gets that. That's Garrett with his shot, three-point shot, misses it, and tries to control it, but loses it out of bounds. So Centralia will get the ball. Another uh, couple of substitutes, it looks like. And it may, you know, the Centralia strategy may be to count, just play really fast and cause havoc out there. That might be their strategy, because they have a lot of substitutes. 23 with a nice try for Centralia. That was Diabagal. He misses it, but that is Campbell. Nate Campbell with that little layup there makes it 24-10. Yeah, that was a nice low, 
piece of jelly by Nate Campbell, and here he comes again down the lane, being guarded heavily, and there's the foul. Yeah, and it looks like that's on Landon Cout. So he will go to the line. That is Campbell to the line for three. So nice, nice decision there, you know, to go to the hoop and knowing that if he doesn't get it, he'll probably get fouled. Yeah, looks like they got a little bit of uh, Nate's lip there. He's just kind of rubbing it, nursing it here. So he goes to the line for two. Third team foul on Centralia. And the first one is good. Brands it. There'll be a substitute. We have 34. That is Forrester coming in for Landon Cout. And Campbell will get a second free throw. And that goes in two. Hits the front of the rim, but manages to go in. So 26-10, Grace Harbor in the lead. So Trey with the ball. Over to the right side, we have number 33, Richards. Gives it out to the left for a three-point shot, and that's gonna happen. That is uh, Henderson Cruz with the three-point shot. 26-13 now. Yeah, that was a great contested shot in the corner there by Nishan. And just shows how skilled of a player, player he is from the Bronx. Yeah. That that's that that Centralia's ball. Is that a blocking foul? Looks like a blocking foul in 22. He's uh, still arguing with the ref. He's got to be careful. So that might have been 32. JT, 32. Uh, oh, JT yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. He's got to be careful he doesn't get a technical. Mm -hmm. You want to argue too much with those refs. They'll, they'll give you a little leeway there. Yeah, Bryson taking up the ball. Gives it up to number 23. Nishan surveys, fires. Misses right. Here's B. Richards. There's a foul. It's like a, either a blocking or pushing foul. Yeah. So B. Richards to look for the open man. Garza guarding him. He finds number 22, Bryson. This is out to number 34. Number 32 for Grace Harbor. Excuse us, folks, we're having some technical difficulties. So Micah Garrett at the baseline for Grace Harbor. Number three, Nate Campbell, being guarded by Nashawn. Tries to run it up the baseline. Like they will call a foul on that one. Yep. Will remain Grace Harbor's ball. Michael Garrett's inbound. Top of the key, that's a damsel. He'll drive left. Puts up a tough contested left. And it's no good. Henderson Cruz brings the ball up the court, cross court pass. B. Richards puts up a three, and it is off. Rebounded by number 21, that is Jacob Lapp, Grace Harbor. Garrett slowly bringing the ball up the court. Over to Nate Campbell, who surveys his options. Gives it to number two, a damsel who drive left again, put up a contested layup. Instagram will go to rebound by number 34, Joshua Forster. As number one, Nishan brings the ball up the court, drives right. Small mid-range. Yeah, that was a great play. We're really getting smooth with it now. Once Nashawn got hot, everything started clicking just a little bit more for the closers. Nate Campbell surveying his options at the top of the key. Gives it over to Michael Garrett. He will give it to Jacob Lack up top. Getting to the drive, and will get booted around. And Richards, number 33, passes it to Nashawn on the right wing. He'll drive. Ball gets tipped.
tip and they will call a foul. I think Centralia is really finding their rhythm now. Uh, it seems to be that they have a little more spark in them. Uh, you know, B. Richards is doing a good job, and Nishan, of course, being who he is. So I, this is looking pretty promising with about four minutes and change to go in the first quarter. Grace Harbor, I believe, just uh, took a timeout as Centralia is going on a short run right here. Brought it within 11. For the Centralia coach, what are you, what are you telling them right now in the huddle? Uh, you know, I just say, hey, fellas, keep the energy up, uh, you know, and subs do your job because, you know, subs in basketball are probably one of the most important positions in the game because once those starters get a little tired, get a little woozy on the, on the court, you know, those subs need to be able to back it up and keep the momentum going, uh, especially right now when you're down just, you know, 11, you got four minutes left. Agreed. Just a lot of, I think, ball movement is just going to be the key here as we finish out this first half. Just keep the ball moving, take care of it, and just look for the best shots you can get. Mm -hmm. right there. There's as many hands as you can get up there. See if you can make something happen with the tip. Ball will be passed inside and a foul. I believe they might have called a reach in there on Centralia. Ball set to be rebounded by number zero, Micah Garrett here at Grace Harbor. Centralia making a couple substitutions. Looks like we may have a little bit of sweat on the court. You know, typically in college sports, you'd have a ball boy who'd do this, but uh, we got our own players. So. Oh, yeah. Who needs a ball boy when you're at Centralia? You know, it's a rough day to, to the players. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not touching this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get back to the game here, Garrett, looking to inbound. He'll give it to Tua Damsel. She looks top of the key, guarded by B. Richards. Gets a soft screen from Nate Campbell. Give it over to Jacob Lass at the top of the key. Gives it back to Garrett. Double teams. Back to Jacob Lass. He'll pass inside to Campbell. Out to Adamza who puts up a three-pointer and it is good. Top contested shot by Adamza. Coach Cheerhart was calling for a travel there on uh, Nate, but eventually didn't fall our way. Here's number two. Centralia driving fast, and that will be Riley Mc McElwraith who will draw the foul on a right-handed layup attempt. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Both teams slowing the, slowing the pace down, getting to the free throw line. First free throw. We'll roll around and we'll fall. Second free throw is up and it is off, but we'll, he will get his own rebound on the free throw. Got a bit of a scramble here. And that'll be a jump ball for Riley. a lot of hustle from both teams here I've noticed as the second half winds winds down see it's it's two different types of hustle it's uh, 
get back hustle and uh, keep away hustle. Yeah, a lot of a lot of fight for the rebounds from both teams as well. Looks like we got another spill. And it seems like uh, you know it's two different types of defenses. Central is really good in the paint, and Grace Harbor does a really nice job of keeping the perimeter secure and uh, not allowing them to take any you know three point shots or uh, you know deep twos. Agreed. Full court press from Australia that Grace Harbor breaks. Down to Nate Campbell inside, and the ball will go out of bounds, and we'll stay with Grace Harbor. And it just looked like B. Richards just kind of booted it out there. I like the idea of going full court. Garrett looking to inbound here from under his own basket. We'll pass out to 32. That is JT Fens. He puts up a step back three pointer off the mark, rebounded by Centralia. That is number 23, Orion Dybdahl. Up to B. Richards. Back to Dybdahl, 23. He'll put up a layup, and it is good. Good pass there by 23 down low as Dybdahl does a good job to finish through. A bit of a, a, bit of a contest there. Grace Harbor drives to the basket of Damsel, misses a layup, and rebounded by number three, Kevin Williams of Centralia, who will push the ball up to B. Richards, who puts up a win three. In and out, but rebounded and missed by number 34, Joshua Forster. The ball will go out of bounds and will stay with Centralia. Harbor 29, Centralia 20. Kevin Williams to inbound. He'll give it down low to 23. Dive doll with a spin move. Lefty layup is no good. Ball will go out of bounds and they will say Gray's Harbor ball. Inbound here to Micah Garrett. Back to a damsel. Full court press here through Centralia. Garrett down the baseline, back up top to number two, that is Joshua Damsel. We'll give it back to JT Fans. A lot of ball movement here from Grace Harbor. Micah Garrett drives right, will put up a short mid range jump shot. It is no good. Rebounded by 33, B. Richards. He will slow it down, bring it to four. Pass down to number two, Riley McRae. Back over to Kevin Williams. Williams will put up a wing three pointer. It will bounce around and in. Good bounce there. Good spin on the ball by Kevin Williams to get it to fall. Lead within six here as Grays Harbor brings the ball up the court. The full court press from Centralia seeming to, uh, to pay dividends for him here. Number three, Nate Campbell, slowing the game down. Number 21, take the block, giving it to JT Fens. Back to Micah Garrett, top of the key, a lot of ball movement. A damsel will drive middle, will put up a right-handed layup, and is fouled on the play. He'll go to the line for two. Centralia doing a good job to uh, take this game close to half with, uh, with a much more manageable lead to talk about at halftime. Yeah, I'd say so. And it uh, looks like B. Richards is about to be subbed out here for uh, number 22, Bryson Williams. B. Richards has done a really great job of hustling around. Uh, he took that one heat check uh, three-pointer, but I mean, he it looked like he really helped him bring him back within six here. And I think Grace Harbor may be getting a little frustrated with how their offensive plan is going right now. Three, that is Joshua Damsel right here missing his first free throw. And that is 22, Bryson Williams being inserted into the game for Centralia. The Damsel here preparing for his second free throw. And that one looks nothing but net. Kevin Williams here brings it up for Centralia. About a minute left in the half here. He'll pass it up to number five, Coach White, who gives it over to Spencer Gill, who will drive and pass it out to Williams, who gets all day for the three-pointer. Good from Kevin Williams, his second straight three-pointer. Lead down to four here is Micah Garrett. Gives it up to Joshua Damsel, who will slow it down. Left wing here, surveying his options, waiting for the offense and the defense to get set. Passes it back to Micah Garrett. He will get a screen from Jacob Laff. Garrett up top, over to the corner. That is Joshua Damsel from three, and he cashes that one from the left corner. 30 seconds left here in the half as Centralia's Kevin Williams takes it up the court. Likely their last possession of this first half. He'll slow it down. 
shot clock about three seconds quicker than the game clock. Gillian slowing it down at the top of the key here. He'll give it over to 22. Back up top to Williams, who will give it down low to number five, Coach White. Team number two, McRaith, will drive left. Puts up a left-handed layup that is good. Through contact. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. Grays Harbor 33, Centralia 28. So I think the one thing we were talking about was uh, so just a little more decent with their passes, and we were down by uh, uh, And they, they had doubled their score. They were to play patiently to come back to the five. Yes, and Trailer just doing a good job to uh, slow the game down to their pace, make the right pass, and just slowly claw themselves back into this game. All right, so it is halftime, 33-28. We're going to wait for our stats, so we're going to take a break, and we'll come in uh, a little before the second half starts, and we'll talk about some of those key stats and what both teams need to do to try to be victorious in this game. So thanks for watching. We're from Centralia College in the uh, Michael Smith Gymnasium. Halftime score is Grace Harbor, Trophy's 33 and Centralia Trailblazers 28.
and welcome back to Michael Smith Gymnasium. I'm your announcer, Teague Algen, here with Cooper. All right. So we're just going to list off some stats for you before the next half starts. So Micah Garrett, uh, excuse me, Josh Adamzo has the most points for Grace Harbor right now with 11. Uh, Micah Garrett might be on double-double watch, folks. He's got four points, four rebounds. Uh, you know, he may, he may come out in the second half and do a really good job here. I feel like he's probably a driving force for Grace Harbor. They're shooting 50% from the three-point range, which is really, uh, you know, some exciting basketball for them. Uh, but for Centralia, they aren't shooting as well from three-point. They're 21.4%. Uh, so I think their game is right now just keep driving in those lanes like they were doing uh, going into the half. Uh, right now they have more rebounds at Grace Harbor. And uh, Orion Dibidal is doing a really nice job of being like a lead scorer for the Centralia Blazers. And uh, Cooper had some on Kevin Williams. What was your keynote on Kevin Williams here? So Kevin Williams just seems to be doing a good job this whole game of just being the leader of the team, bringing the ball up the court, surveying, and doing a good job just playmaking and finding the right guy. He's, he seems to be doing, he's having a great game so far. Seems so. You know, oh, excuse me. I was going to say, uh, Orion Dybdahl also could be on double-double watches. He's got eight points and five rebounds. He's He's been kind of the, the leader for this team in terms of just getting the ball, getting down inside, and, and finishing around the rim. Right. It uh, seems like Kevin Williams is more of a pass-first uh, point guard, but as we saw you know, towards the end of the half, he was not afraid to take that three-point shot if he's open. So, Yeah, he's had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful three-point shot from Williams. Yes, sir. We have about 20 seconds and change here on Waterson Court for the second half action begins. We've got a packed student section here, full of baseball, softball. All sorts, yeah, a lot. People yeah. packed out tonight for this game. Yes, sir. What do you think Centralia should be trying to do just like to come out at the start of this half? What do you think they're going to be doing for the first couple of minutes here? You know, I know uh, just playing sports in general where there's timeouts and stuff, when you sit around for 15 minutes, it is tough to uh, still like instill that momentum uh, and keep that energy up. So if, I believe if they just keep their energy up and keep, the, and keep playing the way they were playing, stick to their game plan, I think they'll have a really successful night here. Agreed. Second half here just about to start. So we got the original starting lineup, Nashawn, Kevin, Bryson, and Joshua. And on the floor, Nashawn will be taking up the ball. Gets it off to Kevin Williams. Passes off number 23. Gets it back to Nashawn. Cut up to there. The Badal misses the corner. Grace Harbor will bring the ball up the court. That is Micah Garrett. Micah Garrett guarded by Nashawn. Amsdell passes off to number 21, Jacob Laff. Laff to Josh. Excuse me, Keon. Back to Keon. Three pointer. Drains it. Continued success from Grace Harbor start out the second half on the three point line. That seems to be their game here. Brings up the ball here in the shot at three point line. Number 34 pass off to Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams doing some work here against number two. They make some movement, passing the ball around, keeping themselves busy. Number 34, Kevin Williams. Tempts the three. Three seconds here on the clock. There goes an air ball. And board by Jacob Laff. And of course, comes up Keon. Keon passes it back off to Micah Garrett. Micah to Jacob. And Jacob thought Keon was looking at him, but just threw it right out of the baseline. Just not on the same page there. Centrally will take the ball up the court. It's Kevin Williams directing traffic. Here's Kevin. A lot of contact as Kevin Williams will draw the blocking foul. Along the right hash. Kevin to pass it in. Gives it off to 23, Orion. Stolen by 21, that is Jacob Laff. As Josh Evangel will take the ball up the court here for Grays Harbor. Guarded heavily by Kevin Williams. Good screen by number 32, JT Friends. Just misses the three. A lot of contact down low, and I believe they will call that on 32, JT Friends for yeah. Grace Harbor. Seems a lot of extracurriculars are going on right now, and uh, let's just hope it doesn't get too chippy. 
A lot of contact fighting for that long rebound. Williams here to inbound it to number one, Sean Henderson Cruz. Shot a really great pass to number 23, the big man, Orion Dividal. Threw that ball where only that dog could catch it. Here's number five, Keon. Passes off. Number 32, JT Friends. Friends extending his range out to the top of the key. Another three-pointer for Grace Harbor. Nashawn takes up the ball. Screen by Orion. Nashawn, the right-hander, sinks it off the backboard. It's a beautiful touch on that right-handed layup by Nashawn. Brings him surely within seven as Grace Harbor brings the ball up the court. Here's Micah passing it off to Keon. Back to Micah. Micah to JT. JT driving towards the lane, and there's a travel. Let's say he walked with it as he started moving before he took that ball and dribbled it down. And Centralia would get the ball back. JT to pass it in to Kevin. Kevin guarded by Josh D'Angelo Jr. Giving up to number 34. Back to Bryson. Bryson with the fadeaway. Misses. Picked up by Orion, put back. And there's a great put back by the big man, Orion. Orion dived all having himself a game as he got the offensive rebound and puts it back. That's just a great hustle play by Josh Adamza right there. Getting skinny, finding the lane, lays it up in there. Here's Kevin. Pushes it off to number 34. Both teams playing very fast here. Very aggressive too, I might add. Seems to be a foul down low. Forty-one thirty-four, the score here. Grays Harbor leading Centrally with 16 minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the second half. There's some subs happening for Grace Harbor here. Number 21, or number one, Garza, excuse me, and Nate Campbell checking into the game. Here's Keon with the ball, guarded by Bryson. Bryson picking up full court. Somewhat doing some damage here, but Keon seems to get away. And here's 21, passes off to Garza. Garza guarded by Nashawn. Finds Nate Campbell. Blocked by Orion, getting it off to Bryson. Bryson to Kevin. Kevin to Nashawn. Nashawn drives in, loses the ball, boots it, and that'll be Grace Harbor's ball. A lot of contact down there. Refs decide not to call a foul and say night. Nashawn just stepped out of bounds. It'll be Grace Harbor ball. Here's Garza. Passes it off to Josh. Josh guarded by Nashawn Cruz out of the Bronx, New York. Here's Keon. Passes off to Nate Campbell. Here's Josh. Passes off to Jacob Laff. Laff to Keon. Keon trying to make a lane for himself here against Bryson, but it's unsuccessful. Passes it back off to Josh. Shot clock winding down here. And here comes Bryson coming down the lane. Here's Keon picking him up. Euro step. And the foul. He gets it. That's an extra point for Centralia Blazers. Tough reverse layup for Bryson Williams to draw the foul and convert on the layup. He will get an and one as he'll go to the line here to convert the three-point play. Now here's Bryson for the free throw. Make it a three-point play. Number 20, no, sorry, excuse me. I would say both teams just playing very, very fast and aggressive here at the start of the second half. I'm curious to see how their staminas will retain throughout the rest of the half. Yeah. That's not going to arrive. This three. One net from Deshaun here. Josh brings it up, picks him up full court here. Here we go. Here's Keon. Steps out of bounds. Pleasure ball. Now the student section has something to cheer about tonight, folks. Centralia has brought this game to a one possession ball game here as they will get the ball and look to either tie or take the lead for the first time in this game. Kevin Williams being picked up full court by Josh Adamzo. Trying to run a play here. Number 24, Spencer Gill. Gives it off to Nashawn. Garza guarding Nashawn. Nashawn for the one. One handed fadeaway. Nashawn has just tied up the game for the Blazers. There's a timeout. Nashawn Henderson through with back to back just tough. 
off buckets to get Centralia back in this game, and the score is tied. Wow, what a beautiful run by the Centralia Blazers there. Grace Harbor kept up too. I mean, it's 41-41. They both gained on, both on either side, but it seems like Centralia is fully clawed back here to tie the lead with 15 and some change here in this half. Yeah, Centralia just playing with a little bit of extra effort here to start the second half, looking like they, they really want to show out in front of this home crowd. Oh, it looks like we might have a technical or something going on. Is it looks like that is Keon oh. Walt here to take a technical free throw. Seems we've missed a tech here. And Keon drains it. That's Keon DeWalt out of Tacoma, Washington. Here's a second shot. Brings that one too. But that'll make it a two point lead for Grace Harbor. But an exciting game so far here, folks. Yeah, we have ourselves a ball game here in the second half. All right, here comes some more subs here. Uh, number two, uh, Riley McElraith. Here's Garza being picked up by Kevin. There's Keon for the three. Drains it. Deep three-pointer for Keon DeWalt. Great yeah. Harbor responding here to the run by Centralia. And it looks like Centralia will call a timeout. Keon DeWalt is feeling himself, folks. It's like Centralia talking it over, Coach Joe. Potentially another technical on the court. Maybe it's a timeout, but he looked at it. Looked like he was suspended. I think there's some chicken risk going on, and uh, maybe it said something. Yeah, that, when we saw that first technical against Centurion, I don't know who that was on. I wasn't able to catch it, no. I yeah, didn't no. see him, anybody do anything, so I think somebody said something. I'm not sure if there was a technical now, but it looks like they put up a different player than it was just a third minute ago. Right, so that's a Fourth foul number five. You know, it may have been Nashawn because I did see him kind of waltzing back towards the sideline, uh, kind of seeming like like he's kicking himself almost. Uh, yeah, you know, I think you, you guys uh, were talking about how he's getting kind of chippy out there. I think the refs are kind of like saying, "Yeah, yeah, players they're, they're really." Like, they're, they're talking, and I think the refs are saying, like, "Yeah, players from both teams heavily invested in this game. It is as it is the first league game of the season. Players just wanting to show out and." Get the season started off on the right foot. Yeah, DeWalt has his fourth foul. So that's the 46 to 41 here for Grays Harbor. Just under 15 minutes remain here in the second half. So, so far, a very, very interesting game, though. The, but it seems like Centralia will have to claw their way back once again. Uh, only down five this time. But it looks like they're going to be going with uh, something original to their starting lineup. Here with Spencer Gill, uh, Kevin Williams at the point, Orion, and uh, Bryson Williams, number 22. Tech Riley Nicole Wraith also going to get some run here. So here's Kevin. Technical free throw. This is the first one. Now Kevin has a really I interesting shooting form to me. It doesn't seem like he really follows through. He kind of almost shorthanded like Melo does. A little bit, yeah, but it does work for him as we see he makes the second free throw. Six to 42 now the score as Centralia will retain the ball after the technical free throws. Right, here's Spencer Gill to take up the ball. Looks like we have some confusion here from the refs. And Centralia will instead take the ball full court here. Here's Spencer Gill, gives it off to Kevin Williams, being picked up by Josh Adamsel. As you hear the Grace Harbor sideline saying, D up. Spencer Gill tries to find a pass, give it off to his Ryan McElroy. Off to Orion with the backhand in the paint. Orion having himself an amazing night. Yeah, Orion dived all just slowing the game down when he gets the ball down low and just making the right play. Here's Nate Campbell being picked up by McElroy. That's a foul. Say a lot of contact there as Riley McElroy will draw or will. Be credited for the foul. 
Looks like they're going to call it on the floor as Grace Harbor will inbound. That's a steal by Kevin Williams. Being picked up by Josh Danville once again. Seems to be this matchup all night here for us. Here's a little screen by Orion. Trying to make something happen here with number three. Bryson being picked up by Micah. Back to Kevin. Shoots the three. Just misses. Here's Orion with the board. Punch it off to Riley. Back to Kevin. Deep three. Bang! Bang! Kevin Williams with the deep three. And that was all set up by the offensive rebound by Orion Dybdahl, who seems to be all over the offensive rebounds here today for Centralia. There's Josh. to Spencer. Drops it off with A. Campbell's foot. A kickball violation here. Student section here at Centralia College is just electric right now. 100%. Drops it off to Kevin Williams, Spencer Gill. Kevin surveying. Look for someone to pass it off to. Here's Bryson against JT Friends. Here's the fadeaway shot for Bryson. And he dumps it in. A soft roll off of the rim there for number 22. Bryson Williams, and there will be a timeout on the floor. And Coach Joe is hyped up for these Trailblazers. This is their first lead of the game. Centralia leads by three here, 49 to 46, with 13-17 to go in the second half. Seems like they've really just been playing a lot of two-man game with uh, Kevin Williams and Orion Dybdahl. They seem to be the leaders here in the second half to get Centralia back into this ball game. Yeah, 100%. You know, feed it through those guys and Centralia will be successful. Now what do you think uh, Coach Joe's telling them right now? I think he's just telling them not to get too ahead of themselves, not to just see that they have the lead and just get too excited and try to try to force things and just slow down and do what they've been doing and continue making the right plays, slow the game down, and just not get too ahead of themselves. You know, I, I have to think that Grace Harbor's coach Blake C Cleveranga is just telling them like, hey guys, you just gotta stay focused, Stay energetic. You guys were playing hard defense. You were stopping them. And just keep playing your game. It seems like they've lost a little bit of that spark, that little bit of energy. So maybe they're trying to bring that back. Maybe he's trying to hype them up a little bit, give them a game plan to work off of to be confident in the next 13 minutes or so. Agreed. A lot of offensive rebounds here in the second half for Centralia. Grace Harbor will look to sharpen that up and chase the boards a little bit stronger. Tensions have seemed to calm down a little bit here. 100%. Uh, can't help but notice, but Bryson is over by the trainer. He's checking out his left calf. I didn't see any certain play where that happened on, but he seems to be standing just fine. Yeah. Just a note. Hope he is okay. Here JT will take up the ball. Looks like Centralia is going to be sticking with their full court press here. It's been very successful for him. Right, here's Micah Garrett being guarded by Riley McElwraith. Picked up full court. But there's a foul off the ball. That'll be on 32 JT Benz. And what a great job by Spencer Gill getting down and dirty. Not scared to fall down whatsoever. Not afraid of contact. And that just gives the upper hand of Centralia to keep packing on to this lead. Exactly. Centralia will have the ball here. Looking to just pile it on. All right, here's Nashawn. Kevin. Guarded by Josh Adamzer. Gives it off to Spencer Gill. Spencer gives it off to Michonne. Michonne. Oh. And Kevin Williams has appeared to fall down. Oh. It's getting a little chippy between the two point guards here, but not a surprise. It's a very hot, you know, high tension game, first league game. Which program's gonna get off on the right start? And both bottom of the bracket in the NWAX in the preseason, but at the end of the day, league play is all that matters. Looks like that is Nate Campbell down here in a conversation with the ref. Here's Nate Campbell. Dumps out to Micah. Picked up by Nicolaith. Orion is back down on the court. Orion picks up Micah. 
feeds it through right to Spencer Gill. Here's Mickelwraith looking for the pass. Drives through the lane, takes the contact, and that's a foul. They will say a charge on Mickelwraith there, as it'll be Gray's Harbor ball. Just drove with a little too much shoulder. Uh, that was a really good idea, but uh, I think Riley got a little too excited about you know, that type of play. Didn't see an open shot, so he just got aggressive, took what he could. A couple of turnovers back to back here from both teams. Been stuck on 49-46. See how Grace Harbor responds. Here's Kevin picking up Josh. Some aggressive defense coming out from Kevin here. Kevin almost pushes Josh out of bounds there. Comes off to Nate Campbell, guarded by Nishan. Nishan dumps it off to number 21, Jacob Laff. Guarded by Orion. To JT Lenz, Spencer Gill on JT. Open shot for Jacob Laff, misses. Dive ball with the rebound as Nishan will push it down the court here. And here's Spencer Gill with the board. It seems to be that here. JT Friends has snagged the ball. Looks like there'll be a jump ball here. Yep. Both teams locking down on defense here. 100%. I think both teams, both coaches told their teams in the half that defense is going to be what wins this game here down the stretch. So we can stay more focused and more energized. Right. This has been a great defensive output by both these teams, uh, regardless if there were mistakes made by both respective offenses. But once, the, once these offenses started clicking, this turned into a real game here. Yeah, it's, it looks like this game may come down the stretch here. A little another, another spill on the floor. So here's JT Friends. Jumps off to Nate Campbell, guarded by Nashawn. Nashawn's picking him up full court. Nate Campbell. Here's Micah Garrett. Back to Nate Campbell. JT Friends with the screen. Nate Campbell through the lane, dumps it off to Jacob Lapp. Put back, misses. And that's a fairly ball. play design by Grace Harbor to get a shot right down close to the rim. And Grace Harbor just cannot convert a Centralia will take this ball back up the court. Here's point guard Kevin Williams. Josh and Danzo, five feet from him. Here's Nashawn. Seems to be double teamed. Picked up by Josh. Nashawn driving. Kevin. Kevin. Cross court pass to Spencer Gill. Spencer dumps it off to Nashawn. Nashawn towards half court. Shot clock winding down here. Have to make a quick play here. Nashawn, deep three. Misses just barely. Here's Kevin. And just turns it right over to Jacob Laff. Here's Josh Adamzo with the lay. Now it's 49-48. Fast break layup there. So the score is down to 49 to 48 here for Centralia. They look to slow it down. Here's Orion. Takes up the wall. Hands it off to Riley. A little slippage there, and he dumps it off to the bench. A couple of turnovers here in a row for Centralia. They'll be looking to be control of that, make sure that they make the right plays as this game comes down the stretch. And they'll just need to continue to lock in on defense. Yeah, these, uh, I'm reading these stats here now. Uh, it seems to be turnovers per game for Centralia is almost 16, and Grace Harbor not far ahead of them with 16.8. I think that's ranked 34th. And Juco. So. Here we go. That would be Keon DeWalt taking the ball up the court here for Grace Harbor in a one-point game. Yeah, it's something original to their starting lineup with, with the addition of Spencer Gill here. Here's number two, Josh. With the lay, just barely misses it. Tipped out to Kevin Williams. Williams here to win the ball up the court. That was good big man presence by uh, Orion Dividal. He actually dumped that pass off the Here's the lay. What a night for number three. Off scoop layup there for Kevin Williams to extend the Blazers' lead to three here with just over 10 minutes to go. Here's Michael Garrett. Guarded by Spencer Gill. Dumps it off to Josh. Josh cross court pass to JT Friends. Tempted the three point. Orion guarding him. Spencer joining him. And that's, that is a right handed layup by Micah Garrett. Seems to be an injury down on the, ba on the Grace Harbor baseline. That was a really beautiful pass there by JT Fens to fit that ball in there. Yeah. Collapsed the defense and then passed it out to, I didn't see who it was that made the basket, did you see? Uh, yes, I did, it was Micah Garrett. Micah Garrett, yeah, it was a beautiful pass to get it down to Garrett. 
There will be a timeout down here on the court. High intensity second half for both teams. Both teams just wanting to take control of the game here and be able to be the team in control as we wind down here to the second half of this second half. There's an applause. Spencer Gill is currently being uh, helped off court by Coach Joe and the trainer. Seems to be putting some pressure on that, uh, just a little bit on that left leg there. We will get down back to action here momentarily. 51 to 50 the score here. One point lead for the Centralia Blazers. So checking in now is number five, Ian White. Uh, Ian White is a he is a one out of Tacoma standing at six foot five. Being picked up by what seems to be his battery mate, Josh and Danzel. Keeping on each other all night. Dumps it out to Ian, got by JT Prince. The shot almost loses it at half court. Trying to get the fight off Micah Garrett. Seems to be successful so far. There's a screen by Orion. Dumps it off. Orion. Back to Ian. Back to Orion. Back to Nashawn. Gives it off to Kevin. Tips the deep three. Drives into the lane. The floater just misses. It's tipped out of bounds by Kevin Williams. Some good defense there by Grace Harbor to make Centralia use the full extent of that shot clock on that last play. Kevin Williams actually got a pretty open short uh, floater look, just was not able to convert on it. And looks like there is a timeout down on the court. Seems to be a, some of the, <laughs> most of the action has happened in the past, what seems to be six and a half minutes. Or uh, five and a half minutes, excuse me. It's, uh, it seems like a whole game has happened in a five and a half minute span. I don't know, that's just me. There's been a lot of action going on here. 51-50 uh, Trailblazers, though. They've uh, steadily held this lead within a few points or so. Yeah, neither team really jumping out to too big of a lead here in the second half. Both teams seem to be pretty even. 9.27 to go here in the second half. What do you think Coach Joe's saying down there in the huddle? Well, I'd say... Uh, you know, I know, you know, Spencer got off the court and Spencer was a good asset, uh, brought some energy to this group. But I think right now they're just trying to devise a game plan so that they can get a little more open looks because it looked like they were just trying to dump the dump the ball off to Nashawn coming around the three-point line, uh, coming towards me and you, Cooper, um, to the left side of the court. And I think now they're going to try and change it up. It seemed like uh, Nate Campbell and Michael, Michael Garrett actually picked it up really well. Um, which led to this timeout, so. Yeah, number zero, Micah Garrett of Grays Harbor seems to be the defensive anchor of at least the backcourt for Grays Harbor. And with four fouls, I think he brought the ball back in. Here's Josh Adamsel, picked up by Kevin Williams, number three, for the Trailblazers. Gives it off to Nick Campbell, guarded by Ian White. Gives it off to Micah Garrett. Micah to Josh. Josh to JT, guarded by Orion. To Keon DeWald, who's checked into the game, folks. Here's Mike Garrett to Nate Campbell. Nate Campbell trying to find some space. JT Friends attempted a three-pointer. Orion guarding him heavily. Keon DeWald in the corner. Tries to get the shot off. Looks like they will say he stepped out of bounds. And it'll be Centralia basketball with exactly nine minutes to go here in the second half. Some great defense there by Centralia. Closing out and just forcing the turnover. There's Kevin Williams with the ball. He's had the ball in his hand the entire night so far. What about Josh? Good flip pass to Orion. Orion surveying, surveying. Gives it off to Bryson Williams. Back to Orion. And the lay. And one by Orion by Dar. He did a phenomenal job there getting down low and using his body to shield the ball. And then just with a beautiful layup through contact. That's great analysis, Cooper. Here's Orion for the attempt of the extra point. Let's convert this three-point play. Some nice pink shoes. The lefty shoots, drains it. Here's Nick Campbell, gives it off to Keon. Keon calling ball. Keon, 
blocked out by Bryson Williams. Comes it off to JT Friends. JT Friends looking for someone to give it to. Nate Campbell, got by Ian. Drives through the lane, dumps it off to Keon in the paint. Puts up a shot. That'll be a foul. Not quite sure who they called that one on. There was a lot of Centralia bodies down in the paint. It's Keon DeWalt will step to the line for two. 54 to 50 here for the Lasers with 8 25 left in the second half. It may have been called on Orion. I couldn't tell what the referee was putting. That's the answer. Was, was foul number two on Orion Dibdahl. First free throw was good from Keon DeWalt. Brings the lead down to three for Centralia. Makes the second one. Here's Orion. Gives it off to Kevin. Kevin let the play run out. See if he can make something happen here with Josh. And his incredible defense guard him. Dumps it out to Orion. With the right hand lay. What a dive by number three, Kevin Williams. Beautiful pass from Williams. And Dive Ball is continuing his dominance here in the second half. Here's Josh. Quick pass to JT Friends, guarded by Ian White. JT Friends was looking at Micah Garrett, gives it off to Jacob Lapp. In the lane, Micah Garrett. Good one fake there by Micah Garrett. That would be a pretty great on the layup. Great pass by Jacob Lapp. Really saw where Micah was going. Was quick enough to get it so he could lead him, almost like a quarterback. So there will be a foul down low. Push off. Will be number three on Orion Dibdahl as it will be Gray's Harbor's ball here. 56-54 Centralia with 7.41 to go here in this game. Micah Garrett will take the ball up, guarded by Nashawn. Micah Garrett driving through the lane. Kevin Williams guarding him. JT Friends on three point. He takes it. He misses it. Off the front of the rim. Rebound by Dibdahl. Kevin Williams looking to take the ball up the court here. Passes it to Nashawn. Good hustle by Keon. Just barely missed the ball. Back to Nashawn. For three. That'll be an air ball for Sean. Just stop on that one for Sean. Grace Harbor looking to tie or potentially take the lead here as Centralia leads this ball game by two. 56 to 54. Now here's Micah. Micah surveying the field. Seeing what the play is going to run out to be. Jacob Laugh to Josh. The deep three from his own pitch. Bang. Josh again. I believe that was his first. Field goal attempt of the second half, and he catches out on a three to give Grace Harbor a one point lead. Here's number one to Sean Cruz. Uh, gives it off to Ian White here to Kevin Williams. Uh, find some space here for Kevin, see if he can get a shot off. He does, but the fadeaway misses. Ian White with the board. Ian White back to Kevin. Kevin to Bryson Williams. Gives it off to Orion in the paint. It's tipped off to Jacob Lab. Gives it off to JT Friends. For Josh, a damsel. In the same spot where he hit that deep three. Comes off to Michael Garrett. Got it by Bryson Williams. Just over Micah. six minutes left here. Finding a lane. Dumps it off to Keon. Open corner three. Just barely misses that one. And here's Deshaun taking the ball up. A fast break opportunity. Here's Orion down in the paint. Just barely misses that one. Shifts it back up. Offensive rebounds here from Centralia. Three-pointer. So he can lead to Centralia. Showing off that five. sweet three-point stroke there from Kevin Williams to give the Centralia Blazers a two-point lead here with just under six minutes to go. Here's Micah. Guarded by Nashawn. Gives it off to JT Friends. Ian White steadily guarding the perimeter. Here's number five, Keon DeWalt. Here's Josh. Josh guarded by Orion with the floater. Dibdahl continuing to be all over the glass here for the Centralia Blazers. There's Kevin Williams calling his play. Orion on the free throw territory. Gives it off to Kevin. And there's a foul. Looks like they'll say Michael Garrett had a hand in there and will draw the foul. Kevin Williams will draw the foul on Michael Garrett. Checking in now will be Alan B. B. Richards, That's number Nishan. 33. Checking in for Nashawn Henderson Cruz, who got some good run there. Seems to be B. Richards' well, cap, seems to be all right. Centralia in the bonus here as Kevin Williams will step up for a free throw. One and one here 
for Williams. Williams. Strange. That's free throw. He's good for Williams. Extends the Centralia Blazers lead to three. 5 12 left to go here in the second half as he prepares for his second free throw. There's Kevin again. Keon dishes it off to Josh Danville. Picked up by Kevin. Full court press. Josh finds Michael Garrett. And drops it off to Jacob Laff. Guarded by Orion, number 23. Jacob Laff gives it back off to Josh. Josh looking, looking, looking. Now gives it off to Jacob Laff. Misses. Rebounded by Bryson Williams. Back over to Kevin Williams. So take them off the court. to extend the Centralia lead to seven here as the student section goes wild. 4.42 left here in the second half as Grays Harbor will call a timeout. What a shot by the best player, B. Richards. Coming and making big plays, giving a bigger lead to Centralia. Press 64-57. Freshman Aaron B. Richards out of Timberline High School was a three-point specialist for them. Looks like the refs talking here around half court. Centralia has jumped out to a uh, seven point lead here with 4.42 left to go in the second half. If you're Centralia, right here, just as the game wind, winds down, you're just gonna wanna just control the ball, take control of the ball, limit the turnovers, and just look to slow it down and look for the best possible shot and not give Grace Harbor the chance to claw their way back into this game. 100%. I mean, it's only a seven-point lead. Uh, just a little under five minutes here left in this game. But I think you're right. Ball control is for sure what's going to need to happen here because seven points is not that hard to gain here. It seems like these, both these offenses are outplaying very well yeah. against each other. As we have seen so far, this game leads can evaporate in the blink of an eye. 100%. Centrally will break out of the huddle here. Spencer Gill is back down on the court. Glad to see oh, sorry. you. Excuse okay. me, Ian White. Micah Garrett will take the ball up here for Grace Harbor, slowing it down. B. Richards picking him up. Micah Garrett. Got it by B. Richards. B. Richards doing his best, keeping up with him. Here's Keon DeWall. Got it by Bryson Williams. Driving through the lane. Guys up. Puts it off the backboard, misses. Here's Kevin Williams. He gets the defensive rebound. He's looking for guys. Surveying field. Kevin, here at half court. Looks for his play. Steps into a three. Hey! Kevin Williams steps into a three-pointer to get the Central Area Blazers a double-digit lead here with just over four minutes to go here in the second half. Kevin Williams taking over as we find our way down the stretch here. And you know, Kevin just threw his hands up like, what are you going to do? Are you going to step up? What, are you going to challenge me? I wouldn't. I would start challenging Kevin Williams now. He seems to be finding his stroke at the three-point line. Yeah, as they say, hand down, man down. He will pull that three-pointer if they give him that space. There's Orion. Guarding, there was Mike, sorry, excuse me, Michael Garrett. Being guarded by Orion. Some tough defense. There's Josh guarded by his battery mate, Kevin Williams. With a three-pointer. And he hits it. Wow. Looks like they just say there or stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds on the step back. Unfortunate there for them to go He made the three pointer, but it will be called back. Wow, what a it's tough break for Grace Harbor. Centralia's ball here. Dive Dahl looking to inbound just over three and a half minutes to go here in the ballgame. Centralia leads 67 to 57. Have Trey Ferguson making his first appearance here, guarding Kevin Williams. Seems to be that. Josh has switched off on the, on the shot. Here's Kevin through the lane. Just blocked. Looks like Kevin will draw the foul, though, as he gets down low. He'll go to the line for two free throws. Now, here's his third time visiting the free throw line. Kevin Williams just playing with all sorts of aggressiveness as we come down the stretch here. He seems to be the guy that Centralia trusts to put the ball in their hands down late in close games to get the job done. Here's Kevin with his first shot. Drains it. Kevin having himself a night. You know, he was very pass heavy to begin the game, but uh, now that he's actually found his, you know, his stroke and 
he's feeling himself a little bit. I think now they're gonna try and feed him the ball more once the play is developed. And he makes that second one. Here's Keon DeWalt, gives off to Nate Campbell. Now Josh Adanzo's calling plays here for Grace Harbor. Kevin Williams picking him up at half court. Still guarding Josh with the ball. Josh with a three-pointer, air ball to the left. Bryson Williams trying to grab that ball. And here's Deshaun. Deshaun grabs the ball. Weaves to. And here's a run. Off the beautiful dish from Deshaun Henderson Cruz. As Centralia jumps out to a 14-point lead here with under three minutes to go. That's Keon DeWall being guarded by Bryson Williams. Keon driving, dumps it off to Nate Campbell. Nate Campbell trying to find some space with Aaron B. Richards guarding him. Keon DeWalt, Deshaun. Back to Trey Ferguson for the three. Bang! Nothing but net there from Trey Ferguson. He'll drill the three-pointer to cut the lead down to 11 here from Grace Harbor. And there will be a timeout on the floor. Now, that was some great bench presence by Trey Ferguson. You know, picking up the started point guard right away. The draining that three going into this timeout with 2.37 left to go. Yeah, after Grace Harbor, you can't ask for anything much more out of Trey Ferguson coming off the bench and just immediately, like you said, playing great defense and hitting shot when they absolutely needed it here down the stretch. Now, Centralia does have this 11-point lead, but what do you think could happen if they were to uh, you know, somewhat lose this lead? What do you think they're gonna, their game plan will be? So first off, what they're going to want to do before anything is just guard that three-point line. Grace Harbor has lived and died this game by the three-point line, and you know that they're going to be looking to get some threes to get back in this game. And if they are able to convert in Centralia, I, I wanted to see them continue to work through Kevin Williams, work through Orion Dybdahl. Those seem to be the two that have been in control the most of this game, and just look to get it to their guys and convert and just take good shots down the stretch here. Yeah, Grace Harbor is actually 10th in their conference in three-point attempts, 25.3. Yeah, that's a very impressive mark. Definitely something that they look for. Kevin. A lot pass from Sean. Back to Kevin. Surveying the field. Still Kevin Williams. Down here. Aaron B. Richards on three-point line. Now Sean in the corner three. Just misses. And there's a ball by Jacob Laff. Gives it back to Trey Ferguson. And that'll be Grace Harbor ball. Looks like Grace Harbor almost wanting the Sean to shoot that three-pointer. Just trying to get the ball out of Centralia's hands as quickly as they can. And just hoping that they miss and that they can shoot themselves back into this game here down the stretch. Uh, here comes Josh Adanzo Jr. Being picked up by half by Kevin Williams. There's a screen by Trey Ferguson. Josh still has the ball. Dumps off to Keon DeWalt. Keon DeWalt for the three. Just misses. Here's Ryan. Give it all. Not hiding off, guys. Now to Sean. Big pass to Aaron. Aaron B. Richards. Gives it off to Ryan. Slick pass from Aaron B. Richards as Ryan dived off, fills the lane, and is able to convert on the lefty layup. Now here's Josh. Point guard gives it off to Keon DeWalt. B. Richards guarding him. Here's Jacob Laff. Orion standing around the free throw line. Trey Ferguson finding a lane. Dumps off to Josh for the three pointer. Josh misses that three pointer. Bad ball once again will control the rebound as there's less than a minute to half go, to go here in this ball game. Centralia looking to close out this ball, this Kevin, game. Kevin Williams just slowing the pace down. Here's Nashawn. Gives it off to Ian White for the corner three. Just misses. Here's A.R. B. Richards. Oh, what a little dime piece there to, to Orion there. Getting Here's Nashawn. Back to Aaron. Corner three. Just misses. Here's Orion. Grabs the board. Nashawn. Right around half court. Gives off to Kevin Williams to Ian White. Ian White trying to find a lane. Trey Ferguson picks him off. Trey Ferguson finding a lane. Here's Keon DeWalt. Almost loses the ball out of bounds. Here's the corner three. Keon DeWalt misses that three. Here's Trey Ferguson looking for the three-pointer. Keon by the Waterson courtside, drives in with a right-handed layup. Off layup right there by number five, Keon DeWalt. 40 seconds to go left in this game here. Centralia just gonna try to take as much time off the clock. You may see some fouling here from Grace Harbor. Yeah, Trey Ferguson attempting that foul here. Kevin Williams is just letting the clock run out here. Number three, the point guard, drives in. Trey trying his best to keep up with the point guard as a big man. Here's Kevin with a deep three. Oh, just misses. Here's Josh. Josh driving through the lane. Here's Trey Ferguson for three. And he hits the backboard. Rebound controlled by Nashawn Henderson Cruz, and it looks like he will dribble the ball out here. And Centralia will come away with the victory. And there it is, folks. 73-62 is your final. We have water support, Michael Smith Gymnasium.
My name is T. Halligan, and this is Cooper Bromley. Can you even hear me? <laughs> yeah, we can. All right, let's talk a little bit about the game though before we get going here. So first league game, and uh, both teams come in with losing records, so they're fighting real hard to get the, the victory here. Try to uh, start the league off right, because the league is a whole new season, right? Right. So it's really doing a good job. They're very patient in the second half. I like what they did the first half. They played a little uh, nervous, maybe. I don't know. They, you know they, they're passing the very first. They took a lot of chances. They settled down a little bit. The second half, they were able to take a couple of games. I thought it was a little tricky out there times, but I think the refs uh, took, took that out of the game. 100%. Uh, you know, it seemed to be. Uh, a war of attrition for Centralia. I mean, they they were down early uh, and they clawed their way back right going into the half. I feel like what was said in the locker room by maybe some veteran presence by the juniors on this team, maybe you know even Kevin Williams speaking up, he may have been trying to keep these guys on it, keep these guys energetic going into the half because it seems like they came out the most. They for sure showed themselves as winner, and it really showed in the second half here. Agreed. Rebounds, offensive rebounds seem to be a big factor in the second half for Centralia. Orion Dibdahl just seemed to be all over the, gra the glass, both offensively and defensively, just getting Centralia second chance points, second chance opportunities, and just help them claw back into the game. You know, the thing that I noticed that was the difference in the first and the second half was Kevin Williams really handled the ball a lot more. In the first half, I mean, it seemed like it wasn't his hands that very much. The second half, he really controlled the tempo a bit. I mean, really played point guard. And everything went through him pretty much. Yeah, Centralia seems to uh, trust Kevin Williams, at least here early in the season, to be to be the guy that they go to, especially coming down the stretch. 100%. All right, so that is the uh, first game of the season. We should be back next Wednesday. We'll have both men and women's. I think that starts at 5. The women's game starts at 5. And then the men at 7. So we hope you'll join us then. So... Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. This is Cooper Gromley, and uh, my name is Teague Howard. Wade Fisher, signing off.